So I'm out hiking, camping, and in general just kind of dialing things in, testing my gear, testing my skills in preparation for this year's hiking. Now, lately I've been asked a lot about my nightly routine. Personally, I value efficiency a lot when I'm hiking. I wanna get in, I wanna get out, and I wanna spend all my time on trail kind of enjoying whatever environment and landscape I'm in currently a very lush jungle. <laughs> so today we're gonna go through what I do every night to kind of prepare for the next day. At this point for me, it is just automatic. I don't even really think about it very much and I just follow through. These are things that I think help me a lot to keep moving and help me stay comfortable. So my nightly routine begins long before I ever even really get to camp and generally about an hour before I get to camp. And really it starts out with preparing my food. My nightly routine begins an hour before I get to camp or at least a half an hour. Now personally I cold soak my food so I don't really cook it. I just kind of soak it in water in this jar until whatever I'm eating rehydrates and is nice and tasty even if it's room temperature. <laughs> So generally these types of things, uh, sometimes they can rehydrate instantly. I've certainly had foods like that. Personally, right now, the beans I use take about a half an hour at the very least. So it would just be torture to arrive in camp and to be preparing all of this then and then have to sit there and wait for it. Instead, I want to prepare this, continue to hike at least like another three miles and then stop. So now I'll just let this soak while I walk and uh, begin the hunt for a campsite. So typically I like to hike late into the night. <laughs> it's just something I've kind of grown to enjoy. I feel like it's a different experience. I feel like it's bonus miles. So generally when I'm preparing my food, it is at sunset. And then everything after that is bonus while I'm essentially waiting for my food to be ready. Now, after dark, the bonus miles are really nice, but ultimately, I want to find a spot that I'm going to be comfortable, I'm going to be safe. So when I start looking for a campsite, I look for an area where I'm not going to leave very much of an impact, if anything at all. I typically go for areas away from water because water attracts bugs, water attracts animals, and both of those are things I do not really want in my campsite even though the water itself is tempting. Generally before sunset, I would be looking at my guidebook or my maps or maybe my guide on my phone, whatever I may have, to kind of see what's coming up. You know, the last thing you want is to pass up that water source a few miles ago, you know, to find out that you're not gonna have water the next morning for miles and miles and miles. You know, so generally I try and stock up before I camp, especially since I don't like camping near water. Now if I was in the mountains, I don't want to sleep in the valley and I don't want to sleep at the very top of the peak. Both of those things can be great experiences, but 
Those are also two places with much more extreme conditions. So sleeping somewhere in the middle, I'm generally going to be warmer and safer. So these are kind of things that I'm thinking about as I'm hiking into the night. That first thought of camping pops into my mind. Now a couple of the things I kind of look for in a campsite. I don't want to be sleeping in a depression or a dip in the earth. Somewhere where a puddle might form. <laughs> That is the last place I want to sleep, especially since I'm using a very, very minimal setup. Now, I also really love sleeping underneath some sort of a canopy, either a medium-sized bush, literally getting inside that type of a thing, sleeping underneath a tree canopy of some sort, but you really want to be careful of things falling on top of you. I've never really had this happen, and I think it's fairly unlikely but it's certainly something to look out for. Now, I like sleeping underneath some sort of a canopy. Personally, I found this to absolutely prevent waking up covered in dew. When I get up in the morning, I want my tent to be dry. I want my tarp to be dry. I want everything around me to be dry. And sleeping underneath a bush or a tree or a shrub really, really, really helps that. So I never sleep out in open fields. And one final little thing with campsites, I want to be sleeping on some sort of a plush bed. You know, I don't want there to be rocks and roots. I don't want it to be on some hard ground. I want it to be nice and soft, some sort of grass or leaves. These are all things that are going through my mind as I'm looking for a campsite and as my day is winding down. It may sound like a lot, but I think the more you practice this stuff on local trails around your house, then the better you're gonna get at it. Because honestly, this stuff, I don't even really think about it anymore. I have found my campsite. Now, does it check all of the boxes? Uh, no. And realistically, not every campsite is going to. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to have that perfect campsite every single night. You're not going to have the safest, warmest, most comfortable campsite with the best view every single night. But you know what? For the conditions I'm probably going to be facing tonight, rain and uh, it's actually going to get sort of cold for March in Florida. Campsite's going to do very well for both of those things. I have a really great tree canopy above me. I have a nice plush ground to sleep on. I'm going to set up my stuff real quick before I lose light and then uh, we'll catch up with kind of the rest of the little things I do before I fall asleep. And that's it. I'm all set up for the night. So now it is the next day. I've slept comfortably. I can pack up and I can leave. But I still want to finish up because there are a few more things I do when I actually get to camp. Now a big thing for me, almost regardless of the situation, is the second I get my shelter set up and the second I have all my things kind of, uh, I have my sleeping bag down, I organize everything. I essentially prepare for the next day. I make sure that all of my stuff is ready so that the next morning I know where everything is, I'm not going to leave anything behind, and I can pick up and leave as fast as possible. I am so crazy about doing this, about just like keeping things organized and clean in my campsite. Now once I'm laying down, before I even eat my food, I stretch. I do not stretch while standing up, I do not stretch while sitting, I stretch while laying down and I only do stretches I can do while laying down. The last thing I want to do at the end of a long day is stand up and do some sun salutations or something. I do a few different stretches, one of which is simply to point my toes all the way back, point my toes all the way forward, back forward, back, forward. And this is something I've heard that can help prevent plantar fasciitis. And ultimately, that's why I do these stretches. It helps prevent injury, and it also, 
I'm going to feel way, way, way better the next day. So I do some very basic yoga stretches. I try and stretch my calves. I try and stretch my quads. I try and stretch my back. Not at all high intensity. That could lead to injuring yourself stretching. Everything just very moderate to low intensity. I just do this for about 5 to 20 minutes. You know, and I feel like it makes a really, really big difference. So now I'm in my sleeping bag. I'm comfortable. I'm eating my food. My last thing that I do is I start going through the maps for the next day. I want to know when my next water source is going to be, how far I think I'm going to go. So just trying to study maybe the terrain for the next day and what my game plan is. And that's pretty much it. You know, again, this may seem like a lot of stuff, but in time, this is just stuff that has become absolutely second nature to me. Do I hit all of this stuff every single night? No, I do not. And that's okay. I still try and do most of it. Because ultimately, in the end, I feel like it adds a lot of efficiency into my hiking. It makes for more comfortable nights, more comfortable days. You know, so these are just little things I like to do.